Hey, Skip, I think he's out of ammo. I hope. Are you sure? How can I write my mother and tell her I was shot by one of our own officers? Yeah. But they're in target practice. Uh, and a Chuck! A nice, nice corner, Chuck. I'm not finished yet. I got a jam. No, 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 no. You're all finished. That's plenty. Plenty. Uh, Hey, Skip, tow plane's calling. Wants to know if he can surrender. Oh, very funny. Now I tell him we're all through and I bring the target in. Come on in, we're finished. Oh, that poor Chuck. I'm worried about him. About him? What about us? He's behind the gun. Look, numbskull. If Captain Binghamton ever gets a look at that great big fat goose egg on Parker's score, he'll railroad him out of here so fast it'll take a, a month for his skimmies to catch up with him. But Mr. Parker's got other good qualities that make up for this bad gunnery score. They don't assign an ensign to a boat because the crew likes him. Well, what'll we do? Uh, if I was to catch you guys changing Parker's score, so help me, I'd court-martial a whole bunch of you. <laughs> Don't forget that. I'm going in for a nap now, in case you boys got uh, <clears throat> anything to do. Uh, you do that, Skip. Rest easy. Always makes my day brighter to cheat a little. Hey, Bird, you're the best shot on the base. What's your score? 89. Well, Parker's always doing things backwards. We'll reverse your score. A 98, eh? That's kind of high. Can't go any higher. <laughs> Uh, Mikhail, when you do something wrong, who's the first one to call you on it? You are, sir. That's right. And when you do a crackerjack job, who's the first one to give you a pat on the back? You are, sir? Yes, confound it me, Mikhail. Now, you're making it very difficult for me. I want to congratulate you. Oh. You and your boat had the best gunnery score on the base. Oh. And I want you to give my personal congratulations to Anson Parker. Ensign Parker, sir? That's right. He had a remarkable score. That boy shot a, uh, 98. At 98? Yes, you know, Mikhail, I was quite a shot myself when I was his age. Oh, I'm sure you were, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm, he used to call me old eagle eye. Uh, uh, right here, huh? eagle eye. <laughs> sir? Thank you very much. Captain Kittredge, doors were made for knocking. On a fighting ship, Binghamton, we don't call them doors. We call them hatches. And they're for coming in to and going out of. End of lesson. Where do I get my supplies? You get your supplies when I'm good and ready to give you your supplies. And what are you hanging around for? Well, I think it's just getting interesting, sir. Right? Get out. Uh, aye, aye, sir. Bye-bye, Captain. Uh, bye, sir. Bye-bye, Captain? Yes, bye-bye. You run your ship, I'll run mine. <laughs> My supplies. You know, like it's so confusing, the people coming in here without knocking and everything. Supplies. Yeah, well, oh, I'll tell you something, Captain Kittredge. If you would bring your ship into the harbor like everybody else, there would be no problem with your supplies. The USS Clive is a fighting ship, Binghamton. I want plenty of water around me. You don't catch me coming into an unprotected harbor. Unprotected? What about my PT boats? Your PT boats? Those little toys are gonna protect me? Toys? <laughs> I'll tell you, a PT boat pound for pound can outgun anything in the Navy. Oh? They're carrying guns now? I thought you just played around with them in your bathtub. <laughs> Not only are we carrying guns, but I've got an Ensign Parker here who isn't even dry behind the ears yet, and he can outgun anybody on that tin can of yours. Oh, come now, Binghamton. You must be suffering from desk fatigue. Oh, really? And how would you like to have a little contest? Paper clips at 20 paces? I'm thinking of a 50 caliber at a tow target. 
Well, if you're serious, agreed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and now, uh, how about the steaks? This would look very nice in my cabin. Oh, well, that, that's, that's my ship's clock. I've had that for 20 years. That was given to me by the Yacht Club. <laughs> well, if you're afraid. Uh, oh, uh, well, it's all right. All right, my ship's clock. Uh, against, uh, uh, against the wheel from that tin can of yours. The wheel from the Clive? Oh, come now, Binghamton. Okay, you're on. When? <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, dock area, 1,200 hours. We'll be there. This will be like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> Skip, you must be kidding. Parker in a shooting match? Oh, brothers, he in for trouble. Yeah, you don't know the half of it, boy. Binghamton bet his prize clock, and if Chuck loses it for him, he's a dead ensign. Yeah, Lester here had to get my 98. Don't call me Lester. Maybe, Mr. Parker, not as bad as we think. Let's face it, Fuji. Chuck has enough trouble finding the trigger, let alone the target. Yeah, you're right, Steve. Hey, I got it. Suppose Mr. Parker has a little accident, and he doesn't show. How about I get his hand caught in the engines, break all his fingers? That'll help. Oh, you're all hard, all hard. Oh, boy. Hey, Skip. I got an idea. Maybe there's some way I can take his place. Nah, the captain's hooked on Parker and... Well, now, wait a minute. What is it, Skip? You got an idea? Nah, nah, nah. Second thought is kind of a dirty trick. Hey, I like it already. Hey, Skip, we got no choice. Like you just said, if Mr. Parker blows the match, he's a goner. Yeah, you're right. Binghamton probably use him for personal target practice. All right, listen. Now, Chuck and that sharpshooter from the Clive will be shooting from the dock area at the main base, right? Yeah. Now, suppose we set up one of our 50s in the jungle, right where the target plane will pass. We put Virgil here on the gun, and it's a cinch. Even Parker wouldn't know. <laughs> That's wonderful, <laughs> wonderful Skip. <laughs> oh, hiya, Chuck. Hi, fellas. Uh, any guys want to pick up any tips? Uh, I'll be practicing for the big match on my trusty 50. OK, OK, we'll do that. <laughs> come on, you guys, let's go. I said, come on. Will you guys come on? Skip, it's dangerous out there. <laughs> Didn't cock it yet. <laughs> Take careful aim, sir. What'd you say? <laughs> well, you guys sure are nervous. <laughs> What's he doing, Mikhail? Oh, well, he's, uh, he's uh, getting the right mental attitude, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, how's it going, Parker? <laughs> oh, you broke my concentration. Oh, sorry. Well, let's watch it. Uh, sir? Yes, I'll look uh, here. No Norris. No Norris. No Norris. He better know what he's doing, Mikhail. Oh, yes, sir. Well, don't worry, sir. Everything's going to be all right, sir. Well, that's that. I got my windage and drift ratio figured. I'm ready. Got the ratio all set, sir. We're ready. Oh, good. How's your trigger finger? Itchy. <laughs> oh, dear, that's itchy. He's got nerves of steel. Oh, yes, sir. Hey, what do you know? It really is itchy. Oh. <laughs> Boat ahoy! All right, this way, Captain. I see you brought the wheel. He brought the wheel. You brought the wheel. Did you bring yes, the sir. clock? Oh, the clock is right over there. Captain Binghamton? Yes. 
Commander McHale? This is Ensign Dennison. Oh, how are you, sir? Oh, hi, Ensign. Oh, uh, Parker. <laughs> you called, Cap? Ah, uh, yes. Now, this is your opponent. This is Ensign Dennison. This is Ensign Parker. Hi, Parker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can just call me Deadeye. Say, you're a little nervous, aren't you? Hands are all sweaty. Ah, <laughs> uh, are you two gladiators ready? Mr. Dennison, Deadeye? Oh, Skip, I haven't figured my uh, muzzle velocity rate of fall yet. Won't take but a minute. Oh. He's got to be kidding. You just wait until he shoots, Kettridge. Hey, Skip, what's seven times six? Six. Uh, Forty-two. Forty-two. That's right. <laughs> I got 50 bucks that says Parker creams your boy. You've got yourself a bet. Yeah, the boys in the engine room want to get a piece of this. Name your poison. 75 bucks. 75 bucks. Now yeah. bet. Come here, Gruber. Excuse me, Clance. What's the idea? They don't have a chance. I know, I know. That's why I gave them even money. Nothing doing. <laughs> All bets are off. Yeah, but I already got 50 bucks down. If I call it off now, they get suspicious. All right, but not another nickel. And aren't you supposed to be someplace? Right on our way, sir. Well, shove off. Sorry, fellas. Fifty's all I can handle. Let's go, Forge. <laughs> well, since you're the visiting team, your man shoots first, Kettridge. Dennison. <laughs> Willie, call in that plane. Bring her in. Out here she comes. He's doing pretty good. Don't worry about it, Lester. It's in the bag. I'm counting on you. Report coming in. Mr. Dennison's score was 82. Nice shooting, Dennison. Thank you, sir. Yeah, not bad. Of course, today you're shooting against the best. <laughs> OK, hot shot, you're off. Good luck, uh, Charlie. Oh, thanks, Wally. <laughs> Make your run. <laughs> Parker's getting ready to shoot. Stand by and fire when I drop my arm, huh? What are you doing here? Get lost fast. This is a restricted area. If you lower that arm, sailor, and I'll break it. <laughs> Sir, I can probably explain. You see, now, there was probably a sudden shift in the wind. Now, that had altered my windage and drift. Ah, oh, come shift of it. Come right around to the northeast. Get him out of my sight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, Chuck. Uh, sir, sir, the, the pilot's coming down safely. Ah, uh, goody. <laughs> oh, this is a beauty. This will really dress up my wardrobe. Get the wheel, Dennison. You've got dirt on your face, Wally. <laughs> Get 
Can you imagine that? He shot down the target plane. Good shooting, dead eye. <laughs> my ship's clock. That's nitwit has lost my ship's clock. Maybe if I lend him my wristwatch, maybe that's... Oh, shut up. I'll kill him. I've had that clock for 20 years. But remember, sir, uh, to make an error is human, but to, to forgive, that takes somebody big. Uh-huh. Now I've got one for you, Mikhail. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and an ensign for Alaska. Oh, oh no, sir. No, no, no. Captain, Captain. Uh, you wouldn't ship him out, now, would you, sir? No, wouldn't I? I want to see the both of you in my office immediately. Dead eye. The only thing you managed to hit all day is me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Verge, what happened? Well, those two guys in the Clive jumped the skip. I couldn't shoot. Can you imagine those creeps not trusting us? <laughs> think I'm really going to transfer him, Skip? Not only transfer him, he's shipping out in the Clive this afternoon. Oh, poor Deadeye. He's really dead. What are we going to do, Skip? Just sit around while Mr. Parker gets shipped out to Siberia? Hey, say, listen, maybe we can get him a remand. Oh, sure. Who'd fly the plane? <laughs> well, let me think, will you? There must be some way to save him. Hey, Grover! Oh! Hey, those guys wanted to collect their 50. Tell them I went down with the ship, huh? Come on, come on, get out there and pay them. Pay them! Get out there. Hiya, fellas. Okay, Grober, where's our 50? Hiya, fellas, I've been looking all over for you. Right this way. Hey, you fellas, be looking all over. You guys are sure how to find around here. Right this way. Here it is, gents. A genuine samurai sword worth a hundred bucks. To show you I trust you, you can pay me the other 50 when you get a chance. Now, look, Buster, <laughs> we don't want a beat-up sword. We oh, want... Oh, I know just what it is you want, and I've got it. A Japanese pilot's uniform. Alterations free, and I'll throw in the goggles and the helmet. No, no. no. You guys drive a hard bargain. I've been saving this for the Navy Museum, but... Beauty? What is that? What is that? Surely you must be joking. It's a wingtip of a Japanese Zero. <laughs> shot down in one of the most famous battles of the war. <laughs> Why, if this wing could talk... You know what it'd say? It'd say nothing doing. Now give us a 50. All right, go on, pay him. Make it snappy. Oh, but Skip... Come on, pay him. Come on, come on, come on. All right, shove off, you guys. Hey, fellas, have a little game of cards later, huh? I'll mark a pack. <laughs> hey, Skip. What's start, the big start. By golly, it might just work. What might just work? Get those guys in here. Right. <laughs> Gentlemen, I will make this as brief as possible. Parker, here's your transfer. Uh, don't touch it. The ink isn't dry yet. The USS Clive is anchored out in the harbor. It sails at 1,700 hours. I want you aboard it and out of my sight. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I'm transferring you to the Aleutians, where all you can shoot down is some frostbitten seagull. Yes, uh, sir, I am. Don't interrupt me, Mikhail, or I'll find an igloo built for two. Oh, oh yes, sir, but... Uh... You see, sir, I, I just thought we'd better get underway. Uh, I wouldn't want Parker to miss the climate being anchored out so far. That's right. Shove off. Uh, yes, sir. And uh, don't worry about it, sir. You can, I'll get him there personally. Uh, I'm the 73. Uh, oh, Mikhail. Yes, sir. I certainly would have thought that you would fight to keep this trigger-happy menace. Yeah, I would have thought that, too. <laughs> oh, no, sir. No, sir. The, the Navy comes first. Yes, sir. Since when? Well, since... <laughs> Oh, come on, sir. You can trust me. Yes, sir. Come on. Mikhail. Yes, sir. Why are you being so agreeable about this? Agreeable, sir? Whatever do you mean? Oh, that does it. I'm going to get my hat and go with you. Just to make sure that there's no hanky-panky. Well, if you don't mind, sir, I'd rather say my goodbyes here. Move! <laughs> Take one last look around, Parker. Feel that soft tropical air? Well, where you're going, tropical is anything above zero. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I've already written my mother for mittens. <laughs> Battle 
stations, enemy aircraft, evasive action. Evasive action, sir. Battle stations, yes, enemy aircraft. Battle stations. Where, 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 where is it? Coming right up out of the sun, sir. Enemy battle helmets. Battle helmets. Battle helmets. I don't hear a thing. Right up there, sir. Right there. <laughs> I hear it. I hear it. Battle stations. Help it, sir. He may be dangerous. All right, you men cover me while I question him. Ah, what you got to have over there? Who hit that man? Ah, come on, you take some kisses and run the mules and you make a cake. Da 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 da. Yes, that's it. Yes, that's it. Yes, that's it. Why, that's amazing, sir. He already had your gold braid in his sights when Parker shot him down. Well, mess with me, will ya? Uh, go for the There's no war down below. Yes, uh, sir. Let's go. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, you know, he kind of looks familiar. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, brother, congratulations, Parker. I, I couldn't have done better myself. Oh, yes, sir. Well, thanks, Skip. Was well, kind of a tough shot. You know, there were yeah. times I didn't even see that plane. Sure. <laughs> if I hadn't seen this, I wouldn't have believed it. As a matter of fact, I didn't see it. Oh, uh, well, sir, I, I'd like to put uh, Edson Parker in for accommodation. Oh, yes, I should say so. Oh, I tell you, Parker boy, you really come through when the chips are down. <laughs> and he had my gold braid right in his sights. Uh, <laughs> it's too bad he won't be here to receive his commendation, sir. Yes, it's too bad you won't be here to receive it. What do you mean he won't be here to receive it? He... Oh, oh well. Well, under the circumstances, Mikhail, bring the boat about. Bring the boat about? Yes. <laughs> You're going to have another chance, Parker. I'm tearing up your transfer. <laughs> well, control yourself, boy. Yes, sir. Just, I'm so happy. I can kiss you. Oh. But remember, we're officers. Open oh. my hand. Oh. Yes, sir. Well, shake it, boy. <laughs> shake it. <laughs> I just picked up a load of copra with the old Margo, and we're steaming along there. Well, I'm all unpacked. Hey, hey uh, come on in, Chuck. Well, after all, this is in your honor, you know, a sort of a welcome back home party. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh. Got to watch it. That's my trigger finger. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on, drink it up, boy. You never know when you got... Uh... Say, Fuji, you don't have any relatives in the Air Force, do you? Me? <laughs> Oh, no. You know, I could have swore that pilot I shot down looked exactly like Oh, that. well, you know how it is with the Japanese. <laughs> yeah, you've seen one of us, you've seen us all. <laughs> Yeah. 
you. I'll have to come barging in here without knocking. Can't you see I was busy here? I'm sorry, sorry, sir, but it's a very important phone call for you. Admiral Reynolds, sir. Uh -huh. Admiral Reynolds? Uh, Admiral Reynolds, Binghamton here, sir. Binghamton? Now hear this. The British Admiralty has dispatched a task group under Vice Admiral Sir Percy Campbell to this area. The advance elements will be dropping anchor at Tower Tupa at 0800 tomorrow. Oh, well, that, that's quite an honor for our, our little base, Admiral. It's quite an honor. Naturally, I'll order a 17-gun salute. <laughs> you can belay the formalities. Your job is to furnish the British with an officer for permanent liaison duty at their fleet headquarters in Sydney, Australia. Uh, but, but, Admiral, I'm, I, I'm understaffed here right now. Orders from the Pentagon, Captain. Oh, well, no, you <laughs> nitwit. You... Oh, no, uh, not you, Admiral. No, sir. No, I was talking to the nitwit here, sir. <laughs> no, you can count on me, sir, for the fullest cooperation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Better not goof this Binghamton. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. As the Pentagon put it to me, don't make waves. <laughs> no, I'll do that. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Is there something wrong, sir? You, you seem upset. Oh, of course, I'm upset. You're an upscale of the red coats are coming, and I have to spare an officer to be a liaison with them. Well, even if I scrape the bottom of the barrel, who could I possibly spare for the job? <laughs> this Pearl Harbor was that? Hey, girls! Come on, let's go! The water's fine! <laughs> How are you, honey? <laughs> Knock off that racket out there. Uh oh, Skip. Yeah, hey, you're out of uniform. That was not for skin diving, Captain. We'll see you around. <laughs> Carpenter, I tell you, someday I'm going to get that McHale and I'm going to nail his slippery eye to a bulkhead. Someday I'm. What am I talking about? Some days here. <laughs> We'd make it in time. The Limeys haven't even landed yet. Okay, let's open up shop. Tink, you'll be in charge of the Japanese war mementos. Well, try and push the Harry Carey knives. <laughs> Where'd you put the sign? Oh, it's right there. Oh, good. Ah, uh, the old hometown touch. That'll get them every time. Oh, this red enemy patrol approach. He's Binghamton. Quick, hide the stuff. Shh. Look, half natural. Look sloppy. <laughs> I think they've spotted us, sir. Ah, uh, good, good. Now, remember, we've got to make them think that this trip to Sydney is just for one month and that the whole crew is going. If they swallow that, McHale is a dead duck. <laughs> We're on. British launch approaching, sir. Ah, that must be the Admiral's aides. <clears throat> Straighten your tie, Carpenter. Square your hat. You want to make an impression on the British, you've got to be a stickler for details. Oh, don't you worry, sir. My crew would never forgive me if I did anything to foul up this assignment. Yes, there aren't uh, many uh, PT crews that uh, get a chance of temporary duty in Sydney, Australia. It'd be like a month's uh, paid vacation. But don't, uh, don't count your chickens, Carpenter. The British have the right of approval, and I'll have to show them the other outfits, too. Oh, sir, then you mean it isn't definite? That somebody else could still take our place? You're overacting, Elroy. Why? <laughs> It'll all depend on the inspections. I intend to end up at McHale's Island in 1,600 hours. If that doesn't uh, clinch it for you, nothing will. A whole month in Sydney, and he's handing it to Carpenter on a silver platter. Uh, not yet, he isn't. Let's go back and speak to the skipper. <laughs> about it, Skip? It's a dream assignment. It means a whole month in the passionate pearl of the Pacific. Yeah, Lest Lester's right. I know a guy who won the Purple Heart in Sydney just for fighting off Dane. Hey! Dude, come on, lay off that judo, boy. This is supposed to be a Swedish massage. Okay, next time, you capture Swedish PW. <laughs> How about it, Skip? Are we gonna let Binghamton pull a think trick like that on us? 
Sure, sure listen, we on, deserve a break a lot more than carpenters. All balls. All right, all right. Look, I don't like to see Binghamton pull a fasten any more than you guys. So, <laughs> seeing as how it's a chance to put the screws to the captain, uh, we might just as well give it a try. <laughs> give it a try? Skipper, we're as good as in Sydney right now. By the time we're finished, those limeys won't be able to tell this place from Buckingham Palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, Captain, uh, isn't that a bit unusual for an American installation? From McHale's Island? No, I, why'd you say that? Well, sir, the flag. <laughs> to work. McHale's pirates swallowed the bait. <laughs> Captain? Permission to come aboard? Permission granted, sir. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. With your permission, sir. On a guard! Detail! Hutch! Lieutenant Crandall, may I present to Commander McHale, Ensign Parker, PT-73. Hello. <laughs> My pleasure, Commander. Uh, charmed, I'm sure. Jolly good show, Commander. Didn't know you Yanks went in for this sort of how do you do? Uh, well, let's uh, say, Commander, that uh, we're just trying to go by the fine standards set by the Royal Navy, sir. <laughs> all right, McHale, all right. Let's get on with inspection. Beg pardon, sir. Tea is served. A <laughs> uh, uh, tea? Oh, yes, of course, tea. Surprised at you, Captain. <laughs> uh, Mr. Parker, take charge, this Mr. Madden. Stand easy. <laughs> After you, gentlemen. Oh, Gruber, uh, would you pass the crumpets, please? Joe, uh, oh, crumpets? In the middle of nowhere? Where on earth did you get them? Made them myself, sir. From a recipe I got from my old Welsh nanny. <laughs> uh, well, uh, gentlemen, uh, uh, a toast. To our great leader. To President Bro. Ah, <laughs> Prime Minister. <laughs> Well, old man, it's getting rather late. I think we ought to be getting back to board oh, ship. Oh, must you rush off right away, sir? Well, we must get back aboard ship, you know. Oh, uh, well, uh, Commander, what about your decision? You haven't made your decision yet. Oh, yes, Captain Binghamton. We completely concur with your recommendation. We'll gladly take Mac Hale. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yippee! I knew you could do it, sir. <clears throat> Congratulations, sir. <laughs> you recommended me and the crew for the job? Hmm. Indeed he did, Commander. But you seem to be under some sort of misapprehension. It's a loan assignment. Just you. Your crew is not included. Uh, well, uh, you made a very wise decision, Commander. I know you're going to be very happy with McHale. Do a fine job for you now. We've got to get back to the base. We have orders to cut. There's lots to do, lots to do. Oh, well, well, everybody in the gig. Oh, we have to cut the orders, and there's lots of well, things to do. Now, Captain, you gig? can't do this. It's not fair. I mean, it's not cricket. Well, well, if it's all the same to you, Captain, I'd rather not leave my men for a month. McHale, okay, I don't know where you get your information, but it's not for a month. It's forever. And it begins tomorrow at 0800 hours when you stop by my office to pick up your permanent transfer. Permanent transfer? But, Captain, you can! Oh, can't I? I'll see you in the morning. And, McHale, be packed. <laughs> You and your Welsh nanny ought to drown up both of you in your own tea. Hey, Skip, what's the hey, problem? Haul it, haul it. No dice, fellas. The Admiral has his instructions from the Pentagon. Don't make waves, huh? 
The British okayed me, and I'm stuck. That does it. Oh, all right, so oh, am I. Really oh. How can a little rube like Binghamton outcon me? Oh, now, come on, Groove. Don't blame yourself. After all, we all swallowed the bait. Those limeys I got a good mind to swim out to their ship, throw all their tea overboard. Are you the <laughs> George Washington was right. But in the course of human events... Oh, now, come on. Come on, knock it off, you minute men. Now, let's face it. I'm hooked. It just goes to prove it don't pay to make good impressions on people. Yeah, Willie's right, Skip. If those British should have seen you the way you really are, they'd have never picked you. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, you know how sloppy you are around here. Never... Oh, well, I didn't exactly mean it that way, Skip. I mean, you know... It... What do you mean, you didn't mean it? Well, it's the best idea anybody's come up with yet. It is? Well, sure. And if we can pull it off, fellas, Admiral Campbell won't even let me aboard his ship, even if it's in dry dock. <laughs> sloppy, huh? Come on, boy. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> How are you, Bumpy, old buddy? <laughs> How are you, baby? Hey, what are you, chugging, fucking, baby? <laughs> well, Jerry, come on. Jerry? Oh, that's kid stuff. Hey, hey, come here. What you need is a little... Oh, sipping whiskey, baby. How about it, Chuck? That's dynamite. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, eight ball. Come on, shake the lid out and let's have four glasses. Hey, hey, let's go, sir. Full booze ahead. <laughs> We're going to have a wing ding, boy. Yes, sir. Celebrate my shiver up with you guys in the morning. <laughs> Great. We don't appear to be ungraceful, Commander, but we're on duty hours. And we very seldom indulge in anything more potent before sundown. Before sundown? That's right. Well, the sundown went down, buddy! <laughs> Come on, chuck a fuck at that memory. Get there, well, uh, uh, just a social sit. Yeah, yeah. just a tail hair. Cheers, cheers! Cheers. <laughs> 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 That's real good, Skipper. <laughs> and there's plenty more where that come from, buddy boy. <laughs> Ooh, hiya, buddy, buddy. Really, Commander. <laughs> really, Commander. <laughs> hey, hey, Chuck, remember Sally when we had that party? We oh. taught her how to shoot crabs. <laughs> Busted up the whole outfit. <laughs> He's a great chap, Cooter. <laughs> yeah. Commander McHale, I don't mean to be presumptuous, but uh, what are you men trying to prove? Uh, 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 prove? What do you mean? I wrote to play that chap, Cooter. I mean, that's murder. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you've changed, old man, like you have, but if you're putting on this act of being a bore to get out of the assignment, it won't work, you know. It, uh, it won't? I mean, this is a rat, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> These combined operations are more than somewhat tricky. But Sir Percy cannot possibly turn you down now. He's under strict instructions from the Admiralty not to churn water. Or, as you Yanks so aptly put it, uh, create a ripple. Hmm? Make waves, yeah, in all of us. <laughs> well, cheer her, old man. Come, gentlemen. Um, I'm afraid you're stuck with it. Stuck. No sense in drinking this stuff unless we have to. Order, come on, Skilly buddy. Pip. Let's let's have at least one more for the road. Come on, let's go. Hey, Carpenter, wait a minute. I just. Well, wait. I want. I want. I want my mother. <laughs> And I'd, I'd just like to say that no skipper's ever served with a greater bunch of guys. I'm going to miss you, all of you, very much. I'll borrow your hanky. <laughs> oh, my head. Keep up the good work, Chuck. You'll do just fine. Well, so long, you bunch of pirates. Let's get out of here, Christy. Well, it's 
great while it lasted. Boy, we're gonna have it rough now. I think we're gonna have it rough. Think what the skipper's gonna have to go through. Living with those foreigners, learning a new language. I say, old beans, spice the main rates, alarm to arms. All that jolly rot. Yeah, sure gonna be murder. Say, you got that accent down pretty good, Mr. Parker. Oh, it's a little something I picked up in college dramatic classes. I had the lead in Lady Windermere's fan. Hold everything. Have I got an idea? We might get the skipper's orders changed yet. But what is it, Groob? Spill it. Yeah, Come on. Let's hear it. Do we still have those limey officers' uniforms to launder? Yeah, back in the hut. It's a long shot, Mr. Parker, but it's desperation time. You've got to give it a try. Right. Give what a try? Well, between our British uniforms and your accent, it might just work. Oh. Come on, Mr. Parker. Time's a waste. Oh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you guys. I was Lady Windermere. <laughs> Lady Windermere, Mr. Windermere. Come on, buddy. Yeah, let's, let's get go. Come on. <laughs> There's going to be dancing in the boondocks tonight. They say every dog has his day, Captain. Yours is a long time coming. It was worth every second of the wait to see the invincible Quentin McHale finally torpedoed by his own men. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Ah, yeah, that's what it is. There's a British Admiral here to see you, sir. British Admiral, see. Oh, yes, uh, sir, Percy, he finally made a show me. No, sir, it's Rear Admiral Crothers Smythe of Royal Naval Intelligence, sir. Royal Naval Intelligence here to see me? Well, yes. I don't know what would be a see. Well, show him in. Don't just stand there. Show him in. Uh, okay, I'll stand over there. Sure. Straighten your coat. Yeah. Yet, be him tonight, I presume. <laughs> what, what can I do for you, sir? Do? Haven't you already done enough, you filthy blighter? Filthy blighter? I, I don't understand. Silence, you blithering, puffing jay! Now, where is this despicable baggage that you've had the effrontery to sign to Sir Percy's star? Well, I think now I hear. Well, speak up, man, speak up! I, I, I'm, I'm McHale, sir. Oh, yeah! Boom! Quiet, yeah. Should have known. Birds of a feather and all that sort of rot. Let's have a look at you, boy. Stand tall, stand tall. Big, <laughs> yeah! Criminal type of I ever saw one, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> yes, quite so, yes. Mm. So, you thought you'd pull the wig over Sir Percy's eyes, did you? Thought that you'd let His Majesty bowl your sticky ticket. Uh, that's wicked. Yes, I know, wicked ticket ticket. But you can't tell this man. My Lord Nelson's blood white men have been pumped for less than this. Oh, say, that's my ship's clock. I was... your cheeks, you fuck! Yes! How dare you have the audacity to assign this man, McHale, to the British fleet? Why, the man's a gambler. Why, he's a drunkard. Why, anybody can see that he's dishonest. He's disreputable, yeah. <laughs> and not to mention insubordinate, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that includes uh, uh, unmilitary, uncooperative, and uh, uh, uncouth, sir. Quiet, yeah. Quiet, yeah. quiet. Silence! I am in charge in here. Now, we... <laughs> now forget that. Here, forget that. <clears throat> On second thought, flogging is too good for you. Why, what you have done here might very well be considered attempted sabotage upon the British fleet. Boom! <coughs> Long live the king. <laughs> sabotage in time of war, sir? That means hanging, sir. Hanging? From the highest fortnight. Oh. <laughs> Stand up, man. What do you mean, hang? Now, let's get on with the proceedings. Uh, unless, of course, um, you're willing to make amends for this Dastardly deed. Oh, yes, yes, I'm willing to do that. Let's make a mention. Let's do that. What if he uh, uh, had to transfer chains, sir? Uh, that would disprove the charges, wouldn't it, sir? Yeah, wouldn't that do it, sir? <laughs> yes, I suppose by Jove it would, yes. Well, of course, it's spoiled an awful good hanging. <laughs> I'll take yours, McHale. Stand over there. Yeah. I'll do that right away. I'll take care of it. Oh, and uh, 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 bless you, sir. Yes. Bless you. <laughs> What is it, Groove? You see anything? You see anything? Huh? Huh? Turn her, hut! Up, no traps. Love to day, isn't it? Boy, them British admirals sure are polite. Huh? Yeah, they sure are. British admirals? Well, that must be Admiral Campbell. Hey, we've got to warn the Admiral Campbell is coming! Hooray! Hooray! Admiral Campbell is coming! Go away! Go away! It's the real admiral. Come on, let's get out of here, Chuck. Fast. Get out of here. 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 Get out of here.
Must you sneak up on me like a ruddy savage? Uh, Why, if I had him an inch, I would... <laughs> Now see what you've done, Captain. Oh, what you've done? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm oh, yeah, let me help you to sit me. Let's go out through this door, sir. Yes. I'm terribly sorry, Evan. I'll tell you, it's just, it's just that I can't help getting over the feeling that we've met someplace before. Oh, now, the question. Uh, excuse yes. me, gentlemen. Uh, uh, I'm looking for Captain Binghamton's oh, office. Oh, yeah, well, this is office. He doesn't seem to be in right now. Just, <laughs> I mean, I'm, this, is, this is my office. I'm Captain Binghamton. Oh, how do you do, sir? Do I'm do, uh, Admiral Campbell. Oh, you're Admiral Campbell. <laughs> it's Admiral Campbell. I'm so glad you're here, Admiral Campbell. I'm sure you know uh, uh, Rear Admiral Sir Crowley Smythe of Naval Intelligence. Where did it go? <laughs> yes, <clears throat> yes, tally ho, peep, peep, peep. Cheers up, all that right. <laughs> well, we've got to buzz off. <laughs> yes, of course I know him. Reggie and I are old school chums. How are you, Reggie? <laughs> uh, uh, the, the Admiral wants to know how you are, sir. He does. He does. Yeah, of course he does. Why shouldn't he? Yes. Capital, Percy. Simply capital. Yes. Oh, have you lost weight? No, I don't think so. I didn't think you had. I didn't think you had. He doesn't look Just good to see you, old bean. Yes. Uh, he didn't know his mother. Well, I'm very well, Reggie. And uh, let me see. This must be Commander McHale. Yes. That's right. Oh, uh, yes, yes, sir. <laughs> Well, what seems to be the trouble, Captain? Hi, that's right. No trouble. Oh, no, no, it's no trouble. We don't have any trouble. No trouble. Oh, come <laughs> off it, man. Come off it. Must be top echelon stuff for them to send Reggie to the rescue. Oh, send that to the... I send, uh, <laughs> send Reggie to the... I mean, the Admiral's vice, which I want. Uh, what Captain Binghamton really means, sir, is that uh, well, he and the Admiral have decided that they need a, a better qualified officer uh, other than me, sir, uh, to, to be your liaison officer. Yes, sir. Uh, isn't that right, Admiral? Isn't that right, Admiral? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, very well, being old boy. I see. Well, far be it from me to refute any of Bridges' judgments in these matters. Supposing you gentlemen fill me in over a glass of sherry. Hmm? Oh, I thought you'd never ask, Admiral. If you'll just follow me to the officer's uh, quarters. Some other time, Binghampton, I think you'll be of more use to the uh, water if, if you remain here to cut that change of water. Oh, hmm? yes. Well, shall we be going, gentlemen? Uh, uh, after, after you, sir. <laughs> after, after you, sir. Now, see what you've done. <laughs> Now that we're alone, uh, Reggie... Yes. <laughs> perhaps you wouldn't mind explaining to me this fantastic masquerade. Yeah, well, the masquerade, yes, the, the, the mask. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, excuse me, sir, but uh, it, it's all my fault, sir. Anson Parker was just trying to get me off the hook, and, uh, well, it was all my idea, and, and all charges should be filed against me, sir. Oh, oh, nonsense, McHale. The whole thing was terribly amusing. Why, we haven't had an accent like that in the British Navy since, um... Gilbert and Sullivan. <laughs> Funny, my mother always said I was great. <laughs> As to getting you off the hook, McHale, that's already been done. Admiral Reynolds approached me on a personal basis. I saw no reason to turn him down. Uh, Admiral, you mean I can stay with my men? From what I've heard of your men, McHale, you uh, deserve each other. Oh, boy! <laughs> oh, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, happy sailing and uh, clever thinking. Tally ho, pip pip, chins up, and all that sort of rough. <laughs> Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye, sir. <laughs> well, old boy, uh, shall we offer a spot of warm beer? Well, I, I'd see no reason why not. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, Britannia, 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 all the way. <laughs> Ah, Reggie, you're a gem. I say, watch that, you bounder. The name is Sir Reginald Crothers Smythe. And if you don't remember that, I'll have you flogged to a thruppet. Thruppet? What's that you're saying, Parker? Thruppet, I think. Oh, 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 the ghastly things I've ever heard of in all my life. Uh, uh, no, 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 Captain Binghamton, uh, uh, remember those immortal words from our illustrious leader, uh, Admiral Reynolds. Uh, don't make waves. Bye bye, Captain. Bye. Well, are you a nurse? Why don't you go take out a sick instead of hanging around bars? 